joined us. He's joined the group. He, Brian is now an activist, whether he likes it or not. Mate, I'm I told you, mate, I'm in this. Now mate. you're on the fucking death list. Mate, I'm, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, mate. You can do what you like. You, you're going to do what you want to fucking do. What made you come? Anyway, so Brian. I'll say what I'm going to say. Brian, what made you come into this, Brian? Why did you get involved in all this? I saw you crying on the internet, and I thought, why ain't no one helping that fucking geezer? Do you know what I mean? If yeah. what he's saying is true, I saw your documentary. I saw Sun, Sea and Satan. I watched all the other bits. I seen what you've been doing with Ben. And I'm here because I don't care about the music industry. I want to do what's right. I've nearly died. I've tried to commit suicide twice in the past because of basically how my life turned out from being fucking famous. But you do and care about you do care about music. I, I do care about music, but I think it's probably saved your life. It has saved my life, yeah. It has. Music, music has brought me through a lot of hard times. Yeah. Um, and, you know, having the equipment there, just to go, you know, you feel fucked, you sit there and you start making, you know, you well, start I, making music. I write music. songs myself, and the best, when I'm most saddest, that's when I write my best songs. Yeah. It's and a, then it's, I can reflect it's on it. It's a connection. That it's, not, it's not something that, that like, you can put it into words, but it's more something you feel. Do you know yeah. what I mean? When you, yeah. hear, when you hear something that you yeah. like, you feel it, you know? And uh, I'm more about that than I am the yeah. money. Don't get me wrong, I'm a poor. I need a few quid. I'm on fucking benefits, but so what? It don't matter. Do you know what I mean? I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm it's good on benefits. I'm on pension. As long as they don't fucking try and keep taking it away from us all the time, innit? Yeah, right. So we got Brian. Brian's an artist, singer, and here we got another artist. We got Ben Fellows, who's a filmmaker, a singer, an actor, and a fucking very, very predominant activist at the moment. What you got to say, Ben? Look, you know, we're all here for different reasons. Me and you are here because of the paedophilia. You're here because of institutional paedophilia. I'm here because we've discovered the paedophile ring and I was sexually assaulted by Kenneth Clark MP, who the police say are above the law. Hannah's here for her own reasons. We're all here because of corruption in one way or another. As we've walked from Plymouth to London, we have met so many people who, you wouldn't believe, Bill, who have basically said, yeah, I was abused by so-and-so or someone in my family was abused by an uncle or whatever and the police didn't do anything about it. And in fact, they acted in the same way as they did with me. Except yeah. the difference is with me, I won't uh, keep quiet about it. Yeah. So now we're going to take it to Parliament and we're going to make them listen to us. We're going to ram it up their arses. Exactly. And I'll stay there for as long as I need to to get the point across because what we want to do is sack these politicians, have a general election, and put people in prison, investigate things properly and make the police do their job. What I'm going to do uh, for Ken Clark is this. I'm going to do a private prosecution on the police. I'm going to put it in front of a judicial review to say basically why the decision that the police made to not question Kenneth Clark was the wrong decision. That's the first step. Second step is a private prosecution against Kenneth Clark. He's going to find himself in court. Lovely. Can I just say, I want this country to be taken back from the banking and the oil cartels from Europe, which is essentially run by Banksters. Enough is enough. We need to get our country back. Nice one, Anna. And I don't think we can lose because we've got fucking Moses with us. <laughs> so, who are you, bruv? Declare yourself. Uh, I'm Andy Blythe. I run the Quest for Common Decency, Dignity, Dignity and Honouring Our Ancient Ancestors. Uh, we have a website called Stonehenge Ancestor Quest, and we're just about civil liberties. Civil liberties. They've taken all the human remains from Stonehenge and left them in a a uh, baseball store in 300 miles away, and we're campaigning against that. We met Ben along the way, and I think really I've been like an armchair warrior, just sitting behind me PC, and I think it's no good anymore. We've got to get up. And, and you've got up off your ass. I'm here with so that you want to set an yeah, example to be, others. I want to show my face, not behind the PC, because it's no good anymore. We've got to get out. Lovely. I've, I've had a gut full of it. What's well done. On? Well done. It's corruption and pedophilia. Well it's done. Got to stop it. So yeah. and here we are, London. Being battered by the old Bill. <laughs> right, so um, we're on our way to Parliament, but on the way we've come to Dolphin Square. Now, in the past, in a lot of my investigations, Dolphin Square has come up a lot. Children being taken to Dolphin Square, but I'm going to leave it to Ben to tell his story, what he knows about Dolphin Square. Go ahead, Ben. Well, Dolphin Square is where uh, Ken Clark and Ian Greer wanted me to come to. 
Now, we've been here for castings, where we were told to take our tops off. These are a block of flats. This isn't anywhere in Dean Street or Beak Street where there's casting directors. These are blocks of flats where paedophiles are. And they get you to take your clothes off, to photograph you, to video you. Uh, and it all happens here. And there'll be flats here still that are involved. Uh, we know for a fact that there are people here that are still coming to Dolphin Square. And uh, this is exactly where Ken Clark and Ian Green wanted me to go. And it's right in this building here. Yeah. And it's still happening here. That's how, that's how much they care. They don't give a fuck. They are so blatant. The same as their wars. The same as the money. Whatever they do. We have no voice. Right, Hannah. Yeah, MJ. Tell us what's happening. What we're we doing. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to walk to the House of Parliament. Whilst the police are talking to you guys, I'm going to go in with my tent. And basically, I'm going to set my tent up, put Section 6 on it, which gives me squatters' rights for four months. At which point, um, we are going to basically sack Parliament. Oliver Cromwell style, not with an army, with tent. Well, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Let's go you like that one? Let's go and do it. Like that one? Let's, let's do it, eh? Do what he says. Come on, Brian. Brian. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Are you here on your own today, sir? On your own. You have to take the note. Go and talk to that police officer, tell him what you've just done. Huh? Go and talk to him, tell him what you've just done, who you are. But we haven't done it yet. What are you going to do? What? No, it wasn't there. She made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oi, boy, fucking <laughs> Oi, Anna. Yeah? Who's a silly girl? Yeah, me. Look. Who's a silly girl? <laughs> 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 you know Timing's everything. Going for it. Now, um, there was a little bit of a, 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 a fuck up where Hannah put her tent in the wrong place. So now, this is where Brian Hall lay for seven years. Come in, Brian. Brian Hall laid here for se for eight years, sorry, and then he died of lung cancer. I'm not surprised with all the fumes he were getting here. So anyway, for you armchair activists, get up off your fucking asses and get on the street and show a bit of bollocks for a change. Because I'm really pissed off with you, actually. Uh, not those of you that do get out. So now we're waiting for Ben. I think he's going to pitch his tent here. And then... Um and once the tent is pitched, I don't think it's going to be very long before we have the police here. So we'll just cut it on that. Press that red button, Brian. Right? Yep. Here we go. OK. So, tent's up. Right, here Brian's just saying that the police have been coming out, watching him. So he's going to, this is it, he's going to put the tent up now and then see what happens. Yeah, but I'm sure the police will be here soon. Let's get that tent going up. Police are here. Are you yeah. going to 
sorry, I don't agree. I don't consent to be policed by you. I'm here to protest Parliament. That's exactly what I'll do. Now, the fact is, yeah, I made a 15-page statement about Kenneth Clark MP that you guys won't look at. You guys have actually told me that what you're going to do to me is a demoralisation exercise, whereby when people complain to the police about child abuse and paedophilia, which is what happened to me, it's a serious sexual assault this man made on me, yeah, that they're going to concentrate on me and so that I don't make any further complaints. That's what the police have said. So I'm here protesting Parliament and you guys. Why don't you guys go and speak to Ken Clark? Why don't you guys go and speak to the paedophile unit down at Emperor, Empress Buildings, yeah? Yep. See why I'm here. They will tell you, yeah? Google Ben Fellows, it will all come up. Um, th th this guy is Ben Fellows, and um, I'm a filmmaker. I work for a film company called Pi Mesh Films. I'm a journalist. And Ben Fellows has just walked 300 miles to, um, to to prove his quest from Plymouth um, about allegations he's made about Kenneth Clark and other members of Parliament and uh, members of the entertainment industry. And he is, in the next two weeks, going to take a lie detector test and then they will be challenged to do the same. Now, this is, um, you know... This is a, he, he, this is a Section 6 notice, yeah, right. which, which basically says that you now have to act lawfully, yeah, and any infringement of that will incur personal fines for you guys. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah. So what we want you to do is act lawfully and peacefully. We are peaceful. We're not here to cause trouble. It's 110 here, Hannah. Yeah, a few people here to protest, and that's it. But there is, there is a section six. So what would you do about this now, officer? I'll oh, read it first, mate. Okay. Yeah. We're victims as well. We are victims. Hang on. We are, we are victims of um, institutional child abuse, if I might add that as well. And we've been campaigning for the last seven years for this. And, um, you know, I, me personally, Bill Maloney, I've been involved in um, investigations into Operation U Tree and Operation Fernbridge. Um, you know, we're naming people like Kenneth Clark, Leon Britton, and also, as someone who's been helping paedophiles, is David Cameron, and there is evidence for that. Otherwise, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing. The national press won't listen. Um, what do you suggest we do, sir? Well, you can call Catherine Lane at the Cabinet Office and speak to her. Right. Yeah. About what About we're doing today or Ben Fellows? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if you just so, tell her that Ben Fellows is out here, what he's done, um, and like the Section 6. So we, we just want to, we're acting lawfully here, officer, as you can see. Right. Okay. Leave it with me. Thank I'll you. Back to you. And thank you very I, I much. I tell you what direction they go in no. your... Quest, if you want to call course, it a quest, yeah. yeah. Well, that's something you have to do yourself. A quest for yeah. justice. A quest for justice. Which is why you're wearing that uniform. <laughs> yeah. uh, and you know better than I do where you've been, where you're going, and where you want to go to. So if you bear with me, I'll get back to you. Thank you very, Thank you very much, much officer. Thank, Thank you. What do you think, Ben? Uh, yeah, well, we've done it, haven't we, Bill? That was very nice. It was very nice. That's, that's, that's actually what I'm worried about straight away. How are the police going to act within the first minute or two? Yeah. Uh, we've told them they need to act lawfully and peacefully. We are peaceful protesters, so now they have a problem. Well, in my language, Ben, that was sweet as a nut. Absolutely, It mate. was a pleasure to watch well it as done, well. Yeah. Well Good. done. Good. Good. No, well done, everybody. Hey! You're not going to get no. violent with us, are you, officer? I'm not a violent person. Because I'm 58 years of age, a little bit older than you, I think. I'm not far behind her. And we've got an old girl there. How old are you, Brenda? She's 70 years of age, so... Don't look a day out of the seat. Don't get too far. Excuse me. <laughs> hey, oh, we got a police officer with a sense of humour. That's what we like. <laughs> thank, you. thank God for that. Yeah. Um, can you explain to me what powers they are? Well, under the Reform Act, I will give. It, I'll bring the notices over. Is with that you, an act? Well, you know where I'm coming from, yeah. mate. 
But we we'll see what the council Can do. Can I remind we'll you of your wife, sir? Mate, hang on. Go on. Calm down. I've got it in my bag. Do you want yeah. to have a look? Okay. Yeah, yeah sure. We're, we're acting peacefully in yeah, yeah, so. I know yeah. that. You see, it's yeah. like, well, the main, main thing that we're fighting against is institutional child abuse. Now, everyone here, we've all... This is Brian Harvey. Do you remember E17? Yeah. Well, he's, he was the lead singer with E17. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Brem Fellows and myself. Now, we've been fighting this for many years. I'm a filmmaker. Yeah. So, um, all we're fighting against is institutional paedophile rings that are being protected, I'm afraid, by government. And I think, you know, if your father's... You. Uh, I know because I work with the police. I'm an outreach worker with the police. So I know that you lot are not happy with everything that's going on as well. So we're treating you as men, fathers and comrades maybe one day. And also, if you remove my tent now, I'll have a thousand tomorrow. Right. Okay. okay? Just make you yeah. aware of that. I will be back. I'm not leaving here. Yeah? This and is, I'm going to go it's not it's You away. can stay here. Yeah, I know. There's no issue with that. Sure. It's the, the issue. No, no. We'll, we will have a thousand tents on the screen before the end of the week. I promise you that. Thank you very much. Because you, I've got to be allowed to protest lawfully because the legal system has let me down. That's the point. That's why I'm here. Do you know about that? Where MPs are above the law within the European super state. Is that right? I'm not getting involved or discussing. We are. But, excuse me, but you are involved. That's why you're here. Excuse yeah. me, Sergeant. Does, does that act supersede his human rights? That act. The act that you mentioned, yeah. Acts of Parliament statutes that need the consent of the government. Does it supersede this gentleman's human rights? He, we're not selling him, he cannot stay here. What we're saying is, the tent... The structure, go. no structure. It's not a permanent structure though, is it, Sergeant? But it still comes if you... If, you, if I bring the paintwork over, which you probably know all about Sorry, anyway, you. you will see that it actually says the word tent. Bedding. Oh, no. oh, no. So we'll see. We'll see. Thank you. Thank you, Chip. Well, don't seem all right, Ben. What do you think? Well, that's the police threatening to get heavy. Yeah. yeah. So what they're going to do now is they're going to they're going to let the council come over. They'll go rah 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 rah. Yeah. I'll say my bit to the council, and then the police are going to basically take my home, because I'm homeless, yeah, and destroy it, and confiscate it, and probably all my bags as well. Nevertheless, I will still be here, and I'm going to stay. And we're staying with you. Thank you. Right, right, right. And the police officer recognised you, Brian, even with your dodgy beard. Cheeky cunt, he was. Cheeky cunt's the ball. Cheeky cunt's the ball. Here we go. Okay, you film. Yep, don't say nothing. I'm with you. Sorry for Actually, I'm working as a head order, not the common of the chair. Sorry? I'm working as a health warden right. under command of the GLA. Yep. Uh, so I'm just, just looking after this parliament square. So you're putting the tent here is Have uh, you read the section illegal. six? Yeah, we, we, we got our letter as well. I will, we're going to give you a letter. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about Excuse that. Excuse me, yeah. why, why have you come over? And because you've got senior officers, we've got the police here. Is this, are you from the no. council? No. You're not from the, uh, who are you? No, no. Um, where no, do we, where no, are you? Where you? Could you get this? Get yeah, this. We've known each other for a while, yeah. you know that. Yeah. Oh, I've met you before. We have up at Trafalgar Square. Yeah. Well, How did you do? We helped you out last time, remember? How did you do? Brian! Yeah. I'm out. Right. I'm out. So, Don't worry. This guy's got a section six on his tent. This is where Brian Hall was. Now, yeah. I, I don't, does that, do you understand right. why he's here? Oh, sorry. Why Ben Fellows is here. Ben, Ben, come here, talk to this man. Appreciate that, but unfortunately... But we need to talk to you, first of all, sending the wardens over on a subject that is as important and as delicate as this. We do not appreciate this. We've got police officers and we've got yourself, sir. Okay. Now, we are here because the government are not fighting against the institutional child abuse. Now, I do know you. I think we met in Trafalgar Square, so you know who I am. Now, to just say we've got to go is outrageous. This is common. Lane. There's Unfortunately, no... it's managed by the GLA, the Great London Authority. There are bylaws and there is a police form and social responsibility act in place, which says that the setting of the tent is not allowed. Now, I am giving official direction that it is not authorised. 
That's his home. Yeah. That's his I, home, I, mate. Hold on a second. Just okay. hear me out, yeah? I am homeless, yeah? Mm -hmm. I have been threatened by the police already, yeah? Uh, well, I can't. No, 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 hold on a second. Well, you it's need the pedophile mate. unit, yeah? I'm not police, so I don't. No, well, no I'm you, telling you something, mate. mate you're coming over here with your authority. Well, you're, you're not talking decisions. about the police here, are you? No, I'm not talking about the police. The police here had not threatened us. No, no, I'm talking about. Yeah, but he brought police here and said, I don't know. No, we were talking to a sergeant a minute ago. Oh, okay. Can you hear me out? Is there a bylaw or a criminal matter that he needs the police? Well, an act of parliament is a criminal matter, isn't it? Right, so it's a bylaw. An act of parliament. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not going with the bylaw. I'm going with the police reform and social media. Okay, yeah. hey, wait, wait, wait. Can I ask you a, a question? Can I ask you a question? Hold on, hold on. I'll tell you what, I don't like being crowded with multiple okay, questions. So what I'm going to do, I've said my piece, I'm going to give you a reasonable amount of time to remove the tent. If not, I'll go to them. I'm going to say five minutes is a reasonable time to take on the tent. If not, we'll carry on with the next step. And what is the next? What is the next? What is the next? I've already explained that, sir. Well, I don't know. You haven't told me. Can I Can I know, please? Well, I've already issued the direction. Yep. Okay. Yep. So the next step is yeah. to issue with a letter if you don't comply with direction. Right. Because it is an offence not to comply with an authorised officer's um, Okay, direction. is that under a certain act? What is that? What's that's under the Police Reform and Social Responsibility Act. That's an act. So, so, so you're going to give us a letter? No, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm going to issue with your letter if it isn't removed can within I, five minutes. Can I just okay. say something? Act, statutes and acts need the consent of the government to be I've enforced. said my piece, sir. No, but can you answer that, please? Because it's, I mean, it's your laws, do you know what I mean? What I'll do, sir, is if you've got any complaints or anything you want to wish So you're going to log me off to a number that no one's going to really... So, sorry, you might as well keep that. It's a number, sir. It's all right, they won't answer my questions. What is your name? Dean. Dean. Dean Erdley. Dean Erdley. Dean Erdley, OK. We met, yeah, we met. Yeah, how you doing, darling? Nice to meet you again. I know. Two years. I know. Yeah, but I would just like to say that this man, Dean, in years gone past, he has helped us in our our actions at Trafalgar Square, Dean, and you did help yeah. us to stay there. Yeah. So, uh, uh, you know, yeah. let's be uh, let's be civil about this. Yeah, we are not. We're not we are we're peaceful, hang on, Brian. Peaceful, peaceful. We are not instigating, Dean, any violence. Okay. We are peaceful demonstrators. We are all victims of institutional child abuse. That is why we are here. Okay. I think you're a father as well. I'm, yes. So, you know what I, know, I mean? I know, I know exactly. But if anything happened to you and your kids went into care, how would you feel? Well, I can't comment on that. Yeah, but how would you feel? I don't know, because it's never happened. You but feel destroyed, mate. Comment, sort of After everything know. that you're aware of that's been in the news, no, on the institutional pedophile rings that are operating. I can't comment because it's never happened. You'd be distraught and angry, mate, I'll tell you that right now. Well, that's that's your opinion, not well, mine. Well, so, I think you would. You would. If, you, if your kids were abused, okay. you'd be distraught but, and angry. Can I just say, as we've met before, then, you'll understand my position in these things. I do. OK. So, therefore, can we reach peaceful... Yes, of course we can. I want you to listen to why I'm here first. I'm more than happy to listen to what you've said. OK. Then we can have a term removed. Right, okay. I'm not, I'm not going to agree to that, but I'll tell you my story. Right, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. You, can, you right. can tell me a story all you want, but obviously yeah. I've got a job to do. That's been rude. That is rude. Well, that, that is rude. That, no, that, that is rude. That is rude. Before you, before you start evicting people, you should know why they're here. Okay. He has an individual oh, okay. story. Okay. Okay. Are you going to get to go be evicting exactly? No. Hang on a minute. Cliff. Hang on a minute. Cliff. Stop it, Cliff. All right. Say, tell, can, can please, let Dean, like just to, Dean, let him tell you why they're here before you I evict will, him. I will, I'll speak to him. Yeah. Okay, be quiet. Yeah. Is that fine? Yes. 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 yes, you two, you two. I was sexually assaulted by Kenneth Clark and Bean, Ian Greer's office in 1994. I made a 15-page statement to the paedophile unit. The paedophile unit basically said he is above the law and cannot be questioned. He is above the law. Nobody should be above the law. Yeah, the laws either apply to all of us or none of us. So, my point being, I, w I was threatened by the police at my flat. I've had to leave my home. I've been on a 300-mile walk of protest from Plymouth to here, yeah, which is taking just over a month to do. Yeah, This is my home. If you wreck my tent now, yeah, you are destroying my and home. And also the lie detector test. Tell Dean about the lie detector test. Yeah, and I'm prepared to take a lie detector test, obviously. Uh, so, the point is... Sir, that, that no, I know yeah, but Dean, Dean, can I just say, can I, can I just say one thing on the lie detector test? Now, Ofcom are the police of uh, of the um, broadcasting media in this country, and they allow Jeremy Kyle to tear families to pieces via evidence of the lie detector test. So, as you can see, and I think it's going to be evidence to everyone who watches this footage that the institutions you are still not helping us. So we are going to the people via the lie detector test. If the lie detector test had no credibility or valability, then the government and Ofcom would not allow the Jeremy Kyle show to decimate families, etc., and solve crimes via evidence from a lie detector test. So we're going to the people. I'm 
I'm sorry, Dean, but we can't go to you anymore because you keep treating us like this, Dean. And I was sexually abused, Dean, by people that you work for, and so was this man. If you remove Via the government. Now, Dean, if well, you remove this tent, yeah, in the week, there'll be thousands. I promise you that. OK, and I'll carry out the exact same process every single time. Good luck. As my job entails. That's fair enough. Not a problem. OK, right. thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Have fun. I'm a bit passionate about it, so I mean, I'm a little bit angry. And the thing that I'm noticing just coming into this is that anyone that ever brings up any questions about child abuse in the government, right, it's clear to me that it's happened. It's so obvious. And then whenever we come to anyone with the questions, we get this. Unfortunately, I'm not here to answer questions. I have got a role to I know, play. I know you're not. Aware. I know you're not. But I'm just asking I you to see our position. We're going about it in the most peaceful way that we possibly can. Unfortunately, you're breaking an act of parliament and yeah, but, uh, by law by pushing the tent there. Mate, statutes and acts of parliament need the consent of the government to be enforced. They're your laws, not mine. Read up on it. OK, that's fair enough. And I don't, I, consent, do... I don't consent. So therefore, there's no government. Well, unfortunately, you haven't claimed ownership of the tent. It was the gentleman over there. So... No, I'm here in support. Okay, of, of, of victims he's of child claimed abuse. ownership. He's the child. You probably danced to his music. He must have done. Here, uh, Dean, you probably done. That's, that's, that's Brian <laughs> Harvey of East 17, the lead he singer. You I'm probably wooed not. your missus to his music. No, I am. I feel no, like, like, like scum because no, no one wants to listen. You know what I mean? And, and another thing, John Major in this place over here, he ripped the Gary out of me, mate, in 1997. That'll do. Right? He ripped the arse out of me, sorry, I swear. He ripped the arse out of me in 1997. Publicly ridiculed me, had me committing suicide twice, or attempts to commit suicide, right? I'm angry. And the fact that Bill's here talking about the child abuse, mate, we need it all out in the open. There's too much cover ups, Jimmy Savile, all of these people, it's disgusting, mate. And what I would like to know is what's the relationship between Prince Charles, right, and Jimmy Savile? Because I can show you two pictures of them 30 years apart, both laughing and joking. What, he didn't know? Are you serious? Fortunately, I can't comment on that. I know, but do you understand? This is what this is why the people are so passionate, and they're not getting through. And I cannot, I can't believe the opposition that, that, that we face, just trying to get just get through the people on a human level. You know what I can do? There are processes in place, which means that you can protest legally with permission. It's it's nothing, does it? Well, unfortunately, I can only do my job. Which is where where would you suggest we go then? Hey? I can't suggest anywhere to go. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it legal for us to protest now? Without prior permission, not on the GLA property. As for the other permissions, I can't comment on Westminster's permissions. I can only comment, obviously, on the Great London Authority, which is real. But could you authorized. give us some way that we could that we could go I and demonstrate this? I can't tell you to demonstrate anywhere. You've done it before. What? You've done it before all for I, us. All I laid out to you was the boundaries of the GLA-controlled areas. Well, lay it down now so we can okay, go somewhere. Okay, I can give you a map, sir. You called me Bill a minute ago, now you're calling me Sir. I like to remain I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought we were mates. Again. <laughs> Obviously, as you can see, that is Parliament Square. Yeah. I'm telling you, what power Winston Churchill is there, which is that statue there. Yeah. Edge of there, everything inside, that is Westminster controlled. This is GLA controlled. So the pavement from that corner, in an L shape, all the way up to that corner there, is Westminster, the grassed area and everything above the raised curb is Great London Authority controlled areas. So where can we go? Okay, speakers, call up. All I'm doing is I'm directing you to obviously remove the tent from GLA controlled areas. Okay. So I'm not telling you to where to the go. The GLA controlled area is up to there, so we could go over there. I can give you I can give you the map, right. which is basically right. That's where we can't go. No, the the, the, the cross hatching is that's Westminster. That's not under our control or under our remit. Right. The rest of it is. So we can't go there, but we can go here. Yeah. I'm not saying where you can or can't go, I'm just saying that is not... So what are you in control of? Basically everything except the L shape of pavement. The pavement. So we can go on the pavement. I'm not saying you can or you can't, sir, but that is... Will that you is... still take the tent away, we go on the pavement? You can't. Of course, that's not under my remit, sir. That's... Thank you very much. Thank you. Love you for that. Thank you. <laughs> what other lot? Right. Right, come over here, Ben. Ben, come with me. Yeah. What's his name? Dean. Is it, is it Dean? Dean. Right, come over here. Dean, could you give Ben, show him that drawing? Absolutely. Now, this, this is right. Dean's going to tell you what we can and can't do. Right. That, that's the Churchill statue there. Right, okay. okay. Pavement, basically, from the end where the line, sorry, so the lane yeah. goes there. All the pavement around is Westminster City Council controlled, but the rest of it is controlled by the Great London Authority, so which, is who I represent. which is who he represents. So, so anywhere on this now, pavement, um, yes. is all I'm saying? saying is, I control the GLA area, 
I don't have any control over the Westminster City Council. Dean, so, thank so, you very much, sir. Uh, so thank you, you Dean. Much. Love you. Thank you, mate. Thank you. So, Ben, yes. if you put the tent on the pavement, then yeah. they've got to go and get Westminster Council. That's right. Now, nice we're make, one. now we're making them work for a living. There yeah? we go. This is what it's all about. It's and staying tell... within the law, staying within the rules, but bending them slightly to our, to, to our advantage. Yeah? We're not going to get kicked off here. Yeah. We're going to have a thousand tents down here by the end of the week. Exactly. So, as long as we keep it there, which actually is I in the worst place, because now it's a hazard yeah. uh, to pedestrians and what have you. So now we're going to wait for Westminster Council. And now we're going to wait for them to turn up. Lovely. Yeah. So the tent needs to come down. If you don't take the tent down, I can seize it. What will happen is whoever else control the tent, myself, Brian, because it's his or whatever, then I'll have to report you to go to court. I can seize the tent for 28 days. If we don't prosecute you, then you can have the tent back up for 28 days. We don't want to get into that scenario. So if you have to take the tent down, that'd be great. And then we can all go home. Okay. Go home. So, do you know the, um, yes. the the Member of Parliament you just spoke to? Which Member of Parliament? No, it's not a Member of Parliament. The Scottish guy, weren't it? No, not a Member of Parliament. Oh, weren't it? No. Nothing to do with that? Nothing to do with that. I'm fishing. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> And what happens if we move it up to Black Rod's place? Up there? Well, I'll show you the, the whole still. I'll show you the whole map and it'll tell you exactly where the boundary is. Okay. So, that, so that incorporates that as well. So this is where you are at the moment. Yeah. So it incorporates all that area. Is that the council? Yeah. The yeah. George's Square incident where you're stopping the, your uh, and the building? So the whole of the Parliament Square. Right Thank behind you. the back of the Abbey. Yeah. yeah. So that's down Westminster Bridge across. Okay. So that's where it encompasses really. Okay. So we can do it now or the... Well, I'd rather you do it now, because obviously I'm asking you to do it, so, um, so if you can take the tent down, then that's the end of that issue. Okay, all right, yeah, got it. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Sarge. Thank you. Tent down. Right, so um, I'm going to leave Ben to tell the story. We're, we're still at Westminster. Uh, we've spoken to the police. and yeah, yeah, well, the police have told us, uh, they've, they've read out the bylaws to us, they've shown us a map of where we can't go, um, and it extends all the way down here, it extends all the way around the back of these buildings, all around the back of the Abbey, the Treasury, um, and all the way back around to here. So basically, um, they've asked us to take down the tent, otherwise they're going to do it, and they can uh, confiscate the tent for 28 days, and they, and, 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 and they, we could get arrested, uh, you know, and we don't really want that, this, this is going to be peaceful. We don't want him arrested because we've got too much work to do. Right. So, well done. Let's have a round of applause, we've done what we've done. Well done, mate. Well done, well done, well done, man. But I'm staying. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying here. Brian Hall did it. I'm going to do it. Tent or no tent. And again. Right. I'm staying here.